Hello. So we are getting a animal that I have wanted for so long. And you guys have asked me many times, are you gonna get more snakes? Are you gonna get more reptiles? And I've said, no, 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 unless it's this one thing, this one specific snake I will make an exception for if I find the right one, which I have. Today, we are getting a baby Mexican black king snake. Oh. oh, finally, I've found a very, very, very black one, super duper black. And we are going to be taking it home today. I've been planning this for a few days now. Like I've been counting down the days. I always feel weird when people look at me talking to myself. So yeah, like, um, so yeah, let's go inside and uh, let's, Let's do this. Perfect timing, actually. I just ah! went back and got it. I haven't even <laughs> met it yet. Do you know if it's a boy or a girl? I wonder if they know. Oh, it's so black. I mean, I don't know when they can pop it, but they can pop them. Dion's is sexed. Yeah. I mean, you can ask them if they have it sexed or not. Snap it or snap it. Snap it or snap it. Mmm, horn waves. Why is it so cute? I can't help it. I really like these. I think one of these would look pretty cool. Your plant? <laughs> yeah. Oh, what is it doing? Like, just right I here? I had to bring it in because of winter. Oh. Uh, so she is going to go get out the big male, which I want to see. I don't think I've ever really seen an adult or at least interacted with one. Let's see what tarantulas they have today. Like, look at that belly. Is he bitey? Oh, so no. Weird. He's not? No. Nope. His name is Harvey. Mm -hmm. We've got four females named Sabrina that were growing up. <laughs> oh, this is what it's going to look like as an adult. <laughs> what do you think? Restricting my hand. Oh yeah. Mine looks like a little worm compared to this. Okay, we need some hides and stuff. Look at all these rocks. There's so many rocks. What kind of rocks do you want? They got them. <laughs> so what kind of, what are we gonna do this enclosure like? All right, so you wanna get one of these? Yeah, I think that'd be cool. And then some cork bark. probably end up having to get bigger rocks eventually. Yeah. Okay, so we need a heat mat. One to five. I don't see a 10 gallon one. Do you think one to five, or this one's okay for now? I mean, or should I order online? Maybe I'll order online. All right, so we are now back home and I'm going to set up the enclosure. Before I show you the enclosure, I'm going to say that this is very big for the size of the snake. Ta-da! So this is actually a limited edition 20 gallon. It's an Exoterra and it has this really cool background like 
so pretty. I was just like, man, I know that's pretty big, but we're gonna go ahead and do big from the beginning because it's probably gonna grow pretty quickly and this will be a great enclosure for a very long time. If you'll notice, there's no heat pad on here. That's because they were actually out of the size that I needed. So I just ordered my heat pad and my thermostat, which will be here, not tomorrow, but the next day. Until then, it'll be totally fine, especially because I already keep it like 80 degrees in our room, so it's fine. But yeah, let's go ahead and put this enclosure to Together. Essentially, this enclosure is going to have to have a lot of hiding places since it's so big and my snake is still so small. It'll probably feel more secure with a lot of hiding spots. And so we filled the aspen all the way up on the bottom. We got this really cool rock. It's just like a piece of slate. I really like this plant. Kind of untangle this whole thing. Really cool. This is going to be great for it to hide in and it's going to give it some extra security by taking up a lot of room. Oh yeah. This is looking great. And I think that will be so good for it to hide in. And it like goes all the way across the entire enclosure. I'm really liking how this is coming together, especially with this background. I love this background so much. Check out this big hunk of cork. This is a really nice piece, super sturdy. And we're gonna go ahead and put this in here for an additional hide. Yeah, I think this will be so cool. It's so big though. It's so big for this little snake. I feel kind of ridiculous, but whatever. Now this is going to make it feel super secure. This is a very small, very dark hide and all of my snakes have one of these and enjoy them so much for that like extra bit of security and privacy. So I kind of have a feeling this is where it's going to be hiding most of the time while it's still pretty small. Yeah. I like this, I think, better with the plant over it. That's where the plant will be with the cord. And then we'll put the rock over here. We're going to take its little hidey house and put it right there. And then here's a nice little water dish. So I'm going to go rinse this out really quick. All right, so we have some nice clean water. Let's go ahead and put that in there. And I'm gonna put it right here in the corner. I think this is pretty good. I think we have a lot of nice little places to hide, a ton of nice uh, hiding spots over here, I feel like. And yeah, I think this is gonna be great. I actually made sure up here that I had this shut so those holes where the wires come out. I don't think it would fit through them, but I don't wanna take any chances. So those are all shut and yeah, okay, cool. This should be uh this should be it. Let's throw a few leaves in here too, just for some more texture. Yeah, I think that's that's it. This is it. Okay. Okay, here we are. Hello, welcome home. What do you think? So I made you this giant enclosure and I know you are super duper tiny, but I just love you so much and I've waited forever to like finally get you. So I hope you like it. Be free. Oh, <laughs> look at all this that you can explore. Like this is like so much for you to explore. You're so little, oh my gosh. And there we go, we're gone. Names, okay. So the name is Ouija and yeah, there we go. Okay, so it's been about three days since we got the Mexican black king snake, and I wanted to include the first feeding. So let's do that really quick right now. I was told that it is taking frozen, no problem. I personally only do frozen. So yeah, let's go ahead and put that to the test and see if it is hungry and taking frozen okay. Oh, check that out. Ooh. She got scared when he was bumping up on the top shelf trying to feed the little rosy boas, so she like bolted over there. Dude, she could probably go for another pinky. Like, she just took that down like nothing. Okay, so that is the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like it if you did. Subscribe if you're not. And you want to be. Don't forget I have an Instagram that I use probably way too much. It's at tarantula.cat. You can go follow me there. I also have a Patreon podcast and a Teespring. It's all linked down below. So go check all that out. And I will see you guys soon. Stay safe. Stay spooky. Stay well.